You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Megan Knight with your WMAR 2 News update. The search continues for the person who killed a man in Federal Hill. Surveillance video shows the moments leading up to the shooting on Cross Street that took the life of 24 year old Christian Light. It's the first homicide in Fel Fed Hill this year. The Neighborhood Association met last night to talk about ways they can beef up security. One way is to encourage more residents to put cameras outside of their homes. There's already a system in place called South Baltimore Camera Network with more than 260 home cameras and neighbors who are willing to share the video with police. So what we're trying to do more and more is partner with other nearby neighborhood associations so that we can work together, so that we can pool our resources, so that we can be strategic about applying for grants, for cameras, or for lighting, or whatever it might be. And uh, this camera network is just one example of that. And the association is also planning a safety walk this Friday starting at 5 p.m. Well, dozens of people came out for a community walk in Rogers Forge less than two weeks after one of their neighbors was injured in a shooting. Mark McKenzie still recovering after the attempted robbery. His neighbors have raised more than $120,000 towards his recovery. Police are still looking for the robber. We have a link to the GoFundMe page on our website. October baseball is coming to Baltimore. The O's are in the playoffs for the second season in a row. The team celebrating with a champagne shower in the locker room in the Bronx after they beat the New York Yankees last night 5-3. to three. The Twins losing to the Marlins. That also helped the O's. They'll likely head to the wild card round, but there are still a few more games left of the regular season. Congratulations to the Orioles. Let's go O's and we will be dealing with some scattered showers this afternoon. Temperatures will only be rising into the lower 70s today, upper 60s for spots closer to the state line. Tomorrow's rain chance looks a little bit more isolated, some stray showers through the afternoon, but we do look to warm up slightly into the upper 70s. The same case for Friday. However, Friday's rain chance looks a little bit steadier. So dealing with these periods of off and on light showers uh, in nature, but then Friday, that's when we could be dealing with the remnants of Helene, keeping a very close eye on the exact track of this system because the track will indicate how much rainfall we see here across the state of Maryland. It does look like right now a lot of those showers spill over into the upcoming weekend on both days with temperatures staying set up in the mid 70s. Megan. All right, Stevie, thank you. Well, help us to buy new books for students in Baltimore City. We are taking donations for our If You Give a Child a Book campaign. Scan the QR code on your screen to go to the website. All the money going towards new books for students at Abbotson Elementary School in Northeast Baltimore. That's our partner school for this initiative. We'll be taking those donations through September 30th, and we do appreciate all of your support. And you'll find the latest on the top stories of the day by going to WMAR2news.com. And for the news and weather, while you're on the go, you can download our app. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Knight.